in Qatar. A migrant worker from the Philippines has died after a workplace accident at the training site for the Saudi national soccer team. The death, reported Wednesday, came as Qatar's government faces allegations of gross human and labor rights abuses at work sites associated with the FIFA World Cup. On Thursday, the chief executive of the Qatar World Cup, uh, Nasser al Qatar, was asked by a Reuters reporter about the latest death of a migrant worker. We're in the middle of a World Cup, and we have a successful World Cup, and this is something that you want to talk about right now. I mean, death is a natural part of life, whether it's at work, whether it's uh, in, your, in your sleep. In a statement, Amnesty International condemned those remarks, adding Qatar authorities, quote, continue to simply write off vast numbers of deaths as being due to natural causes, despite the clear health risks associated with working in extreme temperatures, unquote. Meanwhile, the family of an imprisoned whistleblower says he's been held in solitary confinement and tortured in a Qatari prison during the opening weeks of the World Cup. Abdullah Ibais was serving as a deputy communications director for Qatar's Supreme Committee, which organized the World Cup when he was arrested and accused of bribery in November of 2021. He was sentenced to five years in prison on what his family says are trumped-up charges after he interviewed migrant workers who'd gone on strike over months of unpaid wages, including workers building stadiums for the games. This week, Ipais's family said in an open letter he was subjected to torture after he contributed footage to the ITV documentary Cutter, State of Fear. This is James Lynch, co-director of the human rights group Fair Square, reading from the family's letter. Abdullah spent four of those days, between 2nd and 6th of November, in complete darkness, in solitary confinement, after being physically assaulted by the prison guards. He was in a cell of two by one meters, with a hole in the ground as a bathroom, and with temperatures near freezing, as the prison's central air conditioning was used as a torture device. Abdullah Ibais's family also blasted the FIFA Soccer Federation, calling it complicit in Abdullah's imprisonment.